A very warm welcome to the final day of action from the FIVB Women's Volleyball Club World Championships here in the beautiful coastal holiday resort of Antalya on the Turkish Riviera. We're in the Antalya Sports Hall for two fantastic matchups. Later today, it's the gold medal showdown between defending champions Vaki Bank of Turkey and the team they beat to the title last year, Italy's Prosecco Dokimoko Corneliano. First up on the show court, though, it's the battle for bronze between yesterday's defeated semi finalists as Turkish host side Zasebastia Dinovit Istanbul take on Brazil's Jada Minas for a place on the podium. That's our lineup for the final day of action. It's going to be another cracker at the FIBB Volleyball Club World Championships. And wherever you are in the world right now, thanks for joining us here on Volleyball TV. Simon Golding with you for today's action. And alongside me, I'm delighted to say our Volleyball World Expert Analyst, Assistant Coach with Friedrich Scharfen in Germany, Liam Sketcher. Welcome, Liam, to another fantastic day of world-class club volleyball. Yes, it's wonderful to be here, Simon. As you said, uh, both teams were on the wrong side of the ledger yesterday, but there's still uh, hope that this, this will be an outstanding contest between two very good sides. Well, yet again, it's another wonderful crowd in this fantastic Antalya Sports Hall, and uh, Turkey certainly know how to put on a volleyball match. Now, in terms of the two teams that have uh, arrived here, well, as a Sabashi with their superstar, Tiana Boscovic, the host club, the Tigers, probably have the toughest job on the final day, not just to pick themselves up after the heartbreaking 3-0 loss to uh, Turkish rivals Vakif Bank in the semi, but to bounce back for this bronze medal final less than 24 hours after that loss. And one suspects that young Turkish coach Ferhat Akbash will have his work cut out to get his team mentally and physically ready for this match to challenge for bronze team and the fans were so desperate to take gold. It's going to be interesting to see which players get the start in this game. One thing's for certain though, is that Sebastia will need their star Serbian superstar opposite Captain Tiana Boscovic to drive them on once again. She's been very good yet again, Liam. As she continues to play at a high level uh, day in, day out, year after year. She is one of the best players in the world and uh, you can see with the results that they've had that they can really build a team around her that can be one of the best teams in the world. Well, with 38-year-old playmaker Vesete Maja Ogjanovic also starting in the lineup today, the two Serbians have been key to Zasebashi's performances this season. They beat Vakif Bank in the league 3-0 just three weeks ago, but unable to repeat that in the semi-final yesterday, where the defending champions were in superb form. Well, Gerard Minas didn't get a look in against Corneliano in yesterday's semi-final, beaten in three straight sets by the Italian club. But they'll be definitely focused on taking a place on the podium today. Italian coach Nicola Negro had to ring some changes in the semi against the Panthers, and it'll be interesting to see if he goes back to his original game plan, involving his only non-Brazilian player, the Dominican Republic's Jonquera Peña, in that left-side position with Priscilla de Roich. Priscilla Heldes will be starting in that setting position and coach Negro will be looking to his two middle blockers to continue their fantastic form. 35-year-old Thaisa with her superb 31 points and counting, along with 19-year-old Julia Kudis, who we hear might not get on court to start with, might be uh, the veteran Carol Gattaz that starts instead. But it's going to be a challenging match for Minas, that's for sure. John Carapena then, the only non-Brazilian international in the squad doing a great job. It's it's a super team, Liam, and Taysa has been just tremendous once again through the middle. She's uh, definitely used the wealth of experience. You can see there, multiple-time Olympian, uh, long-time national team player for Brazilian team. One of the best teams uh, of the last 20-plus years, and uh, she brings a sense of calm, I guess, to, to a, a slightly younger lineup. But uh, there isn't much he hasn't seen and isn't much he can't do. They will certainly need her today alongside 41-year-old Caroline Gattaz, her fellow middle blocker, probably at the start of today's match. If what we're hearing is right about the starting lineups. In your, in your heart of hearts, Liam, you can tell us what you'd like the result to be, but 
your head must rule, I think, in this situation. How do you see this match going? Yeah, I, I would really love for this to be a tightly fought contest, but uh, if you look at the rosters, just the, the wealth of talent that Sasabasi has, uh, there's a, a flotilla of international uh, high-level players. The Brazilians, as you mentioned, uh, almost an entire Brazilian squad with the exception of uh, Jonquera Pena. Uh, so I'd, I'd be hard-pressed to go past the Turkish team. Uh, the Azazabashi fans looking to see their team onto the podium at the World Club Championships for a third time. They've never won it. The team has won 16 Turkish titles. Managed to, to be involved in the latter stages. They have won it, my apologies, back in 2015, 2016. Back-to-back -back victories for them. But it's Minas that uh, haven't picked up the victory yet. But they have been on the podium a couple of times looking to get there for a third time. But as usual, it's a wonderful crowd here in Antalya. All ages present to watch what should be another cracking spectacle. And the crowd are going to be important here, Liam, in picking up Exasabashi because that would have been tough losing yesterday and losing in three straight sets. Yes, it's uh, definitely a busy part of the season for a lot of these teams playing multiple competitions. And the fatigue is a factor for all the sides, but the, the home the home gym advantage and having uh, some of their supporters there could be a decisive factor. And the players genuinely seem to love coming into these club competitions as well. Yeah, it's exciting. You get to play against some, some new opposition, some people you may only see when you're playing with a national team. So it's a different environment, different competition, and sometimes you get to see some familiar faces uh, which you don't get to see so often. Yeah, absolutely. There's the confirmation of the Zazabashi lineup as expected. Boscovic will get a start with Maya Ogjenovic. On the other side of the net, Jordan Minas will go to the experience of their two veteran middles. So Karol Gattas gets the start with Taysa Menezes, and then it's Deutsch alongside Peña through the outside with that Prisi Nascimento, who hasn't really found a way into this tournament yet. The left handed opposite getting the start along with their. 30-year-old setter, Pri Heldes, at 178, has been struggling to provide any kind of blocking resistance up at the net. I'm sure Azazabashu will exploit that with their lineup. So we'll see the players out onto the floor very shortly. There's one of the youngest coaches in world volleyball at the moment, Ferhat Agbash, has assembled a very good squad of players for this season. And uh, the Italian coach on the other side of the net, sometimes excitable. Nicola Negro always wears his heart on his sleeve and wants to inspire his team to another push today. So confirmation then of that Gerard Minas lineup through the outside it's going to be Jonkota Peña and Free De Roich through the middle it'll be Taysa and Carol Kisit Nascimento opposite with Free Heldes in the setting position and Naim the Libro the defensive specialist. So that's the Jadal Minas lineup. Let's take a look at the players that are going to start for Izzat Sabashi. And he goes back to his original lineup, Coach Akbash, for this bronze medal challenge. So it'll be Tiana Boscovic in the opposite position, her Serbian compatriot Maja Ogjenovic through the out, the uh, setting role. And then through the middle, it's Belgium's Laura Hellman. It will be alongside Trinidad and Tobago's Sinead Dakisal as the two middle players. Outside hitters, Balade and Russian outside Irina Voronkova, whose dad played professionally here in Turkey and she's lived here for quite a lot of her life and is fluent in Turkish and has represented Russia at the highest level. Two very good squads then about to get going. That's how they actually line up at the start of this game. As we heard from our expert analyst Liam Sketcher, certainly the favourites on paper is Asabashi they can recover from the heartbreak of yesterday's exit from the tournament to their Turkish rivals Vakif Bank, then they should be on track for a bronze medal here today. David Fernandez then of Spain is our first official. Referee's good to go, team's good to go, we're certainly good to go. The bronze medal final at the 2022 FIVB Volleyball Club World Championships and two great teams out on court playing off for a place on the podium in the white and blue playing from left to right it's the Brazilian side of Jardar Minas they take on 
the Tigers of Azazabashidinov at Istanbul in the darker strips. First point on the board to the Turkish team, but now we're level through the veteran Karol Gattas. 41 years young and out there and still going great guns for this Brazilian team. Simon Golding with you for this one and our volleyball world expert analyst, Coach Liam Sketcher. Looking forward to a terrific day's volleyball, Liam. Swing from Murray Hammond through the middle. Well played by Minas, but the block is really solid. Ah, oh, it's terrific stuff. What a rally. <laughs> well, just as I say, looking forward to a great day's volleyball, Liam. We get an absolute belter of a rally to start. Absolutely. You can see Yonkaira Pena there going for gold. She's uh, the gold medal is off the table, but she's still looking for the win today. Uh, full strength on both of those swings. Frida Reut has been superb at this tournament so far. 34-year-old Brazilian international, 29 points, but very steady. Speed out wide to Juncada Pena. She's clearly going to be one of the battering rams for Jordan Minas today. And the balance of uh, keeping the offense spread, not just feeding her every ball, but making sure there's some balance using the right side and the middle attack as well. A great game yesterday against Corneliano and in fact was substituted in the end. That's put away from Boscovic, so she marks her card early in this one. She's had another cracking tournament, third best scorer on 63 points, but coming in behind the two opposites that we'll see in the gold medal final in Ogonu and Puck. And in that rotation there, uh, with Boscovic hitting from four, it's a good matchup for her hitting over the smaller block blocker in the setter. And the setter, Pri Heldes, at one meter seventy-eight tall. It is a mismatch going up against the Zasabashi captain at one meter ninety-six. That's not a bad serve. Van Verakova, ninety point nine kilometers per hour on the speed gun. Russian international. Another point on the board for the Turkish club. Good pass from Yonkaida Pena. Still. But I mean, that's not able to put the ball away initially. They're going to have to fight hard for their points today, Lee. Absolutely. There's uh, a huge amount of firepower on the other side of the net. But as you can see here, well positioned block and good form. The experienced uh, experience pair in the middle for Minas coming up with the point. Woman that just blocked that ball, 41 year old Carol. Goes back to serve, it's a good serve as well. Taking Bronkova into the corner. Well, that ball travelled a long way, and the blockers had no problem getting there. Tysa, equal to the efforts of her, her fellow middle blocker. Great close. Another wing spiker that didn't have a great time of it. Yesterday's semis, and Baladin, the Turkish international, gets stopped early. It's another chance to swing, but chooses to tip this time and beats Kissi Nascimento short over the block. Out of the opposites on show today, it's been Kissi and the number nine top for Jordan Minas that has really failed to turn the scoreboard over. Certainly nowhere near as efficiently as our top opposites, who are all in the 60s now. She needs to go big today if Jadal are going to have a chance. Well, that's going to go Minas's way. And Preheldes working hard at the net to make sure they get that point. Preheldes with the serve. Tall front line for three rotations now for Jordan Minas. But that's the way to negotiate the bigger blockers, Liam. Absolutely. The use of, of speed in the in the attack is going to be a big factor. Uh, trying to keep the space between the blockers. You can see there Tyson not being able to make a decision in an early move and lots of space for the attackers to hit the ball through. Toss and a big hit from Boscovic. She nearly got her team back into it in set three yesterday against Vakif Bank. 
with a tremendous service run and Andy has been stopped again. They've done their homework here, did Aminas, and they're stopping the left side player regularly. It's uh, one of the benefits of having such experienced middles. They can make those decisions early and they can get out and have a really well formed block. And as a coach, Liam, is that is that genuinely what happens? Your more experienced players just need less looking after, less info? Uh, maybe not less info, maybe they can handle more information, they can make better decisions on the court quite often. Yeah, nice point. And they're back to the line, a great start to this bronze medal final. Good pass from Ronkera, and a nice blocking attempt. Looks like that might just be going the way of the Turkish team, so they have to video check that. Mean us if they disagree. Two video checks per set, remember. And if you win, you check, you keep it. If you lose if you lose it. Simple as that. I'm not going to bother having a look at it. It's a good block from Zasabashi. Yeah, they're living on the edge at the moment, Minas. That's a great touch from name, but Pliderovic can't get there. Pretty obvious that uh, the Minas pass is just struggling already a little bit against this Zasabashi serve. There's a lot of power, but uh, also the challenge of scoring when Yonkaira is on the, the in the back row. We've seen Deroish have two swings. She gets on an early swings fast, but the Zasabashi block is more than equal to the task. So a very brief shot there of the best serve at the tournament. At the moment, the middle blocker that hasn't started for Minas today, Julia Gambato Cadiz, with seven aces. I imagine we'll see her brought into the piece at some point. But who comes off? That's a big question out of the two veterans, Taysa and Carol. Serve from Taysa. A terrific tournament, and that's a swing. That's a proper swing. So she's made quite the living doing just that, Tiana Boscovic. But you can see the overload. The uh, Minas block having to handle two hitters in the same zone, which makes the decision very difficult. Middle player, Jack Kisar with the serve. Better pass, and that'll do from Carol Gattaz. I said it yesterday to my co-commentator, Clayton Lucas, but in the modern game, being a middle blocker must be a nightmare. And the game gets so fast sometimes, so the advantage of Minas having two very experienced middles who can see the game really well uh, gives them a small advantage in that position. Overpass, not put away by Carol Gattas. Well saved by Laura Herman. And nicely threaded down the line by Russian international Irina Vorongula. Be a problem for Minas all through this game. We held this just not tall enough in that front court zone. Christina Shimento has done far too much of that during the course of this tournament, just swinging the ball out over the baseline. Gonna get a challenge though. You a fan of the video checks, Liam? It's it's interesting. There's time. There's multiple ways you can use them, and sometimes you can use it as a timeout. Sometimes it's uh, an effective way to to keep the referees on their game, and uh, it's also a way that you can tactically score some points as as a coaching staff. Well, you sneaky coaches have certainly found a way to use the video checks very well. It's with only two timeouts per set. Sometimes you need a third, or possibly even a fourth. Uh, just uh, change the, t the rhythm of the game a little bit. Well, the Inspector Gadget music tells you that this is a request for a block touch. There wasn't one. So the video check is lost. One remaining for Jeraminas. And a two-point advantage for Azasabashu with Maya Aljenovic at the service line. The pass from Pena Pena has started the game solidly, and that'll do. Another experienced uh, outside player in Priscilla de Roy. She's going to have a big game today as well. Yeah, she has a, a big task ahead of her. It's a big block and uh, she knows that without Yonkara Pena front row that the focus will be on her. Some pass from Veronica. 
Nicely salvaged. And played by Kissy to keep it in play and put away through the middle. So clearly, both setters trying to run that little ball as often as they can when the pass is good. And especially with Minas trying to run a slide or this ball behind. Uh, so looking to overload there and, and create some problems for the Esetabashi block. Good comeback. So the first test is passed, but that's one hell of a shot. And we're seeing this a lot now in the women's game. The, the middle players hitting the ball in front of the setter and hitting it very hard. It's a, it's a good tempo play here with Hermann getting just in the seam between the two blockers from Minas. Belgian international enjoyed that one. Oh, wow. And the Dominican international, Peña, would have enjoyed that. What a swing. Full power on display from Peña. Uh, the small space available and she took full advantage. <laughs> what a celebration. Cracking start. Did play her best game yesterday against Caneliano, but she's come out firing on all cylinders here against Azar Sabashi. And two middles in a row to Laura Hetterman. Great play from the Belgian. And it's the difference in philosophy between the two setters there. Minas wanting to use the ball a lot more behind with the middle attacker, and uh, it's actually looking to work, work the ball in front a little bit more. Nice. Well, we've got two magicians out there in the setting position today. Now, I've said it before, but very often when the ball is put over on second touch by the opposition setter, Jenovic will try the same thing on the next point. Well, let's keep our eyes peeled for that. She's back court, though, so not as easy. That couldn't do it. Had to jump above the height of the net to set it. But when you've got Boscovic available, why bother with second touches? It's a simple solution to scoring points sometimes. Just give her the ball. She's high, she's powerful, and has angle there to work cross court. Moskovic back to the service line. Whips this one just a little long. Well, it's a good contest in this first set. Full marks to Judd Minas for coming out of the blocks and really firing hard here. This is the difficult uh, rotation from now with uh, Yonkara Pena back row. Can they score enough points in these next three rotations? But that's a good start with the A-serve. Nice. A little bit of protection here. If young Peter Pen Peña can pick up a couple of points, that'll help. Well, Veronkova's had the best passing stats of the tournament coming into the final stages, but she's been given a real workout here. And once again, they rely on Boscovich out of system, doing what every good opposite should do, Liam. It's the, the delivery there, a little bit of discussion about the possibly the location of the ball, but uh, possibly which making easy work even of a difficult situation. 15 all in this race to 25. And it for Ladi. Serves on Kaida Pena. Again, they focus on the right side, and Kissy Nascimento puts this one away. Trying to make Peña work a little bit more on reception, seeing if she's going to have to take a lot of balls, uh, try and wear it down a little bit because she is the most effective option in attack for Minas so far. Good serve. What a good serve from Tayset, and that really caught the Libro out. It's a tough one for Simjiakos to deal with. You can see here on the replay that ball coming just so flat and fast over the net. Really difficult reception. Brilliant. Well, Liam, I've always said it, whenever club sides talk about playing the women's team against the men's team and what height net to play it over, I've always said to the women's team, play them over the women's height net and serve them off court. Absolutely. Uh, I have been on the receiving end of that more than once. <laughs> oh, dear. But you can see the, the, the middle blockers in particular, the, the bigger, more physical players, just how flat and aggressive that serve can be and even against the, a really high quality opposition that that's a tough ball to pass so the timeouts 
for Zasabashi being conducted by Ferhat Akbash in English to accommodate the players that don't speak fluent Turkish, which is a bit of a luxury for us but speak English listening in. And uh, the double ace from Taisa has caused some considerable problems here for the host side. Yeah, the, the general message in that timeout is for the receivers to not get frozen, not get stuck, stay light on their feet and be ready to make the small adjustments for this tough serve. Better. And there we go. Boscovic on hand again and a brilliant set from Ogjanovic. And using Boscovic there through the middle on the pipe attack. So you can see in the middle of the court the middle's flaring to the side trying to create all the width in the block. Nicely done. Opened up a good channel there for the Serbian opposite. So substitution, on comes Yaprak to serve and play defence for the Tigers. Again, Kisina Shimento off the block but gets away with this one and that's a handy point. He's trying to get Luka Pena back to the front court as quick as they can. She might just get there in time for the key part of this opening set. So they've flipped the rotation now. New setter on court in Jackie Moreno. She'll play back court. And then the new opposite is Larissa Brandau. She's come on for the setter. The 18-year-old opposite. Just to provide a bit of height across that front line, but well negotiated by Sebastian Boscovic. It's a, it's a really nice safety blanket and great speed on that attack at more than 100 kilometers an hour when in trouble Tiana Boscovic can provide a lot of solutions first ton up spike of the day nicely tied it up by Nayem on the opposite Pridoroic can't put it away Boscovic goes up against the youngster Larissa and she's missed the block and the court but we're going to get a video check to double check this he's convinced there was a moment of confusion there for the referee pointing the wrong way, but they managed to correct himself. Okay. All, all back on square now. So no need to double check. It is Zasabashi's point. The scoreboard will catch up momentarily. Pudorovic targeted. Again, runs that right side play. And Larissa, the youngster, straight into the block. Too well organised there from Herman and Boscovic. And the Tigers have saved the day in set one. You can see the Minas offense, they're running two players to the right side, so in transition, there's only one way to go, and uh, easy pickings for Herman and Boscovic. Nineteen all. Situation recovered at the moment by the Tigers. Again, Kajdek is targeted. Hugo Deutsch has hit that very hard, and I think that's been acknowledged as a block touch, is it, by Boscovic? Not at the moment, so they're going to check it. There we go, so it's just Boscovic saying she didn't touch it. We're going to have a look at this on the video. There's no hiding place anymore, though, is there, for the blockers on this? No, all the, all the little things that maybe escape the human eye, uh, in some ways it's, it's a great thing for the game. You get a really genuine outcome. There's not too many ways that you can... Sneak a couple of easy points. You might know the figure for this, Liam, but it's something like 23 cameras positioned around the court that are bringing us the video footage that can be checked by the referees in super slow. It's impressive stuff. It is, and uh, it's interesting when, which replays they choose to show on the big screen in the stadium. It's not always what the referees get to look at. You can see here. The Royce not finding the very tip of the fingers of him on. Good try, but no cigar. And certainly no fingernail touch. And Fadice waits to see if she'll be on at some stage. The 19 year old with a blocker for Minas. 2019 is Asabashu breezed past Minas. That's a nice shot into the corner from Prida Royce. That might just help things. It brings Jung Kaira back to the front court for Minas.
accurate stuff from the number five. She serves 20 all. Flying pass from Simdiakos, well controlled. And a good put away from Boskovic. See the, the Minas block. Pretty well formed, but the speed and the height of Boskovic. Yeah, over the top. <laughs> Priscilla Souza just letting us know what she saw. Swing from Bronkova in Padapena. Can't get past the block, so chance here. Oh no! Well, they've got away with one there. That wasn't the best set from Ogenovic. Yeah, the solution is, is one that has paid off then. While well, Yonkara Pena is back front row, they are two points in arrears and maybe a little bit too big of a hill to climb for Minas. Time out called then by coach Ejo Negro for the Gerard Minas team. Well, Liam, whether we understand the language or not, it's always a privilege to listen into the timeouts, but remarkably amazing to hear the basics that are discussed by the coaches. That's always fascinating. Yeah, sometimes it's important to keep the team grounded in the basic ideas of, of what we're trying to achieve. Uh, so even at the highest level, it's, it's making sure the message is consistent and the team is staying true to the basic message of what they're trying to do. My favourite came on day two, I'm not going to tell you who the coach was, but he said, pass the ball to the setter. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Simple but effective. 22-20, good serve. And Padapena in trouble. Kissy rolls it into play. Another chance to score. Boscovic hammers it home. 23-20 to the Tigers. That was an absolutely phenomenal swing. Tiana Boscovic just hammering his ball. Got the swing. And it's not bad pen yet. After all that talk, loses her place on court to the woman that replaced her yesterday. Very effectively, it has to be said. 35-year-old Priscilla Souza. Excellent professional player that has never represented her country at the top level. And immediately targeted and gets a decent enough pass away. And that's a speedy response from Minas out to Carol Gattas. And speed is the right word. There was uh, nowhere else that ball could really go, but the Isashibasi block still didn't have a chance to be well formed against this attack. Nicely done by Minas, trying to keep their hopes alive in set one. Carol with the serve. Bronkova gets the pass away, and Herman just about gets the shot down for set points. And this is the counterpoint. Again, the speed, getting the ball in the seam in between the two blockers, the defense is off balance. And even though it's not a full swing, still effective to score. Ronkova and Sinjiakoj seeing the funny side of nearly messing that pass up. Jack Kisal into the front line. Good serve, and it's into the net. So, let off for Minas, but they've still got a tough job ahead trying to find two points on their own serve before it's out of us if we get to 25. And here we go. They do it thousands of times in training every season. Pass, set, kill. That's oh, I was just going to say that's how you do it, but that was nearly defended. Good attempt by Freeheld S, but 25-22 as Asabashi get it across the line, and they lead this bronze medal final over Jadal Minas by one set to love. Well, Liam, if you want uh, an extended game, Jadal Minas certainly going about it in the right way. They battled hard there in set one. Absolutely. The service pressure and uh, the work with the middle blockers and really gave some trouble to the Sachabashi but you can see on the screen there the difference Tiana Boscovic when there is a problem she is more often than not the solution but uh, a nicely fought first set well on my way I would imagine to 80 points maybe 80 plus for the tournament 
not enough, though, to get her team into the gold medal final. It's going to be another dramatic shootout between two world-class opposites for the gold later today in Huck and Igoni. Moment, though, yeah, at the moment though, our focus on the bronze, 25-22 in 24 minutes, that's a solid performance. Liam, I guess the question is, can Minas keep it going? Uh, that's that's correct, it's, the challenge now is to maintain their level and to keep the variation in what they're doing, not become one-dimensional in attack. And if possible, many have tried, but not many have succeeded, but to find a solution for Boscovich. She is Tiana Boscovic, world champion now in Serbia. And a phenomenal player at this level. She's really enjoyed her time with this club. Been here with her since 2015, where she's known as the boss. She's certainly bossed this game for the moment. Well, plenty to look forward to during our day of world-class volleyball action. Finish off our two championships for the season. Italy victorious in the men's. With Perugia, a chance to be victorious with Corigliano later today. And they go up against the defending champions, Baki Bank. So that's the tail of the tape for our first set. How much do you take from that, Liam? Uh, I think uh, the attack is the big difference. So... Uh, you could see that Minash really struggled with Giancaro Pena in the back row. Uh, De Ruiz trying hard, but she just didn't find a way to score. And any extra chances that uh, happen in transition for Asasibashi, yeah, they have uh, too many options, too much power, and uh, too many solutions. Well, under pressure, as you can see, Minas passed pretty well, getting it into that green zone 46% of the time, which essentially means the setter has all options open. As Asavashu got aced a few times, but still kept their pass up pretty high. And the more times you get into that zone, Lee, and the tougher it gets for the blockers and defenders. Yeah, particularly the middles. And we could see the battle between the two different philosophies with what the teams were trying to do. So you could see that Minas trying to use the, a lot more on the right side of their attack, whereas particularly with Hermon uh, for Sasabashi, that she was running the fastball in front. Not quite what we would call a, a seven or a B quick, which is long, but just getting her into the seam between the two Minas blockers. And it's fast enough that they can't get their hands over the net and stop that attack. Away we go then with set two in the women's bronze medal final here at these FIVB Volleyball Club World Championships in Antalya in Turkey. And it's the host nation in the black shirts, the Tigers of Azazabashi Dinovic Istanbul that lead the match by one set to love. But Brazilian club, Gerard Minas, have given a good account of themselves here. Losing out just 25-22 in the first set. Now, if there's any encouragement out there on court for a, a substitution change, it may come during this set. And it may be to bring Julia Pavis, the teenage middle blocker, into the play. Potentially for Carol, the woman that's just missed the shot. Yeah, it's a possibility that uh, it was a good first set from the Minas middles, but uh, maybe a little bit more option in attack would be helping that woman in particular have some space to breathe. And Pada Pena, the Dominican Republic outside hitter, is having a lot of work to do already in this match. And she's getting all the traffic. And a nice run around. Well done from Carol Gattas. She's travelled a long way in transition there. It's a long approach, but good precision, good speed. And again, the block not well formed over the net. And a, a, pro a promising start now for Minas again. She's been a professional player since 1996. As Carol Gattas. That's astonishing. Brilliant swing, so precise. Boscovic knew exactly where the option was to hit that. Yes, once again, the rotations for the teams haven't changed. So, Tiana Boscovic hitting from position four over the setter. Uh, not much you can do about that. 20 centimetre mismatch between Boscovic and the setter Preheldes. Again, going for pace on the reverse. Taste doesn't get a clean contact. Boscovic gets another swing. Well defended by Kissy. And Yonkaida Pena is struggling now. 
really struggling to find a way past the bigger blockers. There isn't much of a bigger block in, in world volleyball than, than these two from Boscovich and Hermann. They'll take that for Minas, net touch, given against Zasabaji. The location on the set again there to position four, not getting the ball in front of Peña where she can really step onto the ball and hit it full. She's having to wait, the ball's a little bit behind her, making the job a little bit more difficult. Good serve. It's another ace for Minas. They've had a few in this game already. Excellent precision to find the sideline. I think uh, Veronkova knows that uh, that was a world-class serve. And she'll be on her toes for this next one. Four aces for the Brazilian team. The defence. Chance for transition points here. Yonkeira goes off the three-woman block successfully. And the Sassabasi defence there having to show respect to Peña's power. We can see with the Libro working right back into the deep part of the court, leaving that angle for the ball to come off the block. Great recovery from Minas after a tricky start to the set. And another ace. Wow, they are causing some serious problems from the service line. Despite her experience, Veronkova getting worked over a little bit in reception. I tell you, they're not smiling now, Veronkova and Cynthia Akos. Mix up in the last set, we saw the funny side of it. But now, looking a bit stressed. It's a great serve down there. Tricky channel between the two players. Good seam work here. This time, it's the player flat out, and it's the replacement player that's on that has done a good job there. Yafrak coming in for Veronkova to great effect. I'd like to say it's monotonous regularity from Boscovich's point of view, but that belies the fact that it's so good to watch. And that's such a great block from one of the underrated players in this is Astabashi lineup, Jack Kisal and Trinidad and Tobago. When you, when you watch uh, Boscovich play uh, from a technical point of view, she has a, a, a fantastic approach and swing, and she can do a lot with the ball. Another great block, two in a row. This time, Handek Baladin gets in on the action next to Jack Kisar. Stop on Young Kaira. A block of the monster variety from Hande. And they go on the reverse to Young Kaira Pena. She can't put it away, but it's coming back as a free ball. Well taken by Naim. And run through the middle, but read brilliantly. And finally, the ball goes out wide to Kissy. It was like the last setting option that uh, Three Heldes wanted to use, but it's worked. Much better location on that set particularly going fast in transition play. Letting the ball be in front of the attacker and finally a, a chance to score in transition. And a long rally ends in Minas' favour. And another poor pass. Wow, this is not going so well on serve reception from the Tigers' point of view. It's the great leveller. If you can serve strong, even the best attacking teams in the world are going to have a difficult day. Andy steps in to deliver a good pass and then takes the ball into the corner for the point. Nicely done. It's similar to compare Boscovich to a, a player like Wilfredo Leon in that they, they tilt the floor. The, the block always has to respect where they are on the corner and create space for the other players around them. He picked up once more. Good from Boscovich. 
And gets the return ball and gets just enough on it. And I, I love your description of tilting the floor, Liam. That's exactly what it looks like. You see there having a, an opportunity you really should have scored from. And when you give Boscovich more opportunities, she's going to end up with more points. Tracy was all over that. Really frustrated she couldn't make the finish. And then to add insult to injury, to rub salt in the wounds, whatever cliche you want to use, Boscovich hammers an ace. Just watching her from a, a, a technical point of view on a 101 kilometer an hour serve. There's not much you'd do differently if you were trying to rebuild her swing. Uh, it's smooth, it's efficient, it's consistent, and most of all, incredibly powerful. Nicola Negro forced into a timeout from Minas. So do we. So great to see the fans. And great to see that there's a specific Tiana Boscovich fan, one of many. And they are just so passionate about their volleyball here in Turkey. It's a wonderful place to come and watch. It's a wonderful place to compete. So, so long as you're not up against a Turkish team, then it can be a little bit intimidating. Boscovich goes to work again. Naeem, extreme recovery, great pass. This is having no joy at all at the moment in this match. Process the ball. Kissy can't get it past Simji down the line. Boscovic again from behind the attack line hits it out. She thinks she's got a touch here. We're going to have a video check. That's not a call for in or out. Interestingly, that looked out, but not always the case at face value. So uh, this is going to be a close one. Uh, always a little bit of bias in the opinion. Oh, it's compressed enough to hit the line. There we go. I'm about zero for 100 on my uh, video <laughs> check calls this week. Well, there's a reason why uh, we get to talk about it afterwards and not down there make any decisions on those calls. They're very difficult. Oh, to be a ref with no lines judges as well. They do a cracking job. Good pass. Beautiful tempo, and you saw the way Friedrich hit that. She had nobody in the way. Yes, she she's really going to have to help shoulder some of the offensive load. Uh, Kissy having some trouble converting on her opportunities, and uh, the Exasibasi block really focusing on uh, Yonkara Pena when she's on the front row. Got a love of free net. Was well set by Prihades, and that was beautifully set by Genovic. Wonderful defence. Oh, that's terrific. And Taysa getting down and dirty and really enjoying that defensive display. Just a, a huge emotional response. She's really pushing her teammates. But this is, she's made the dig. The ball gets to the net. And Kissy finally gets away to score with the left hand. Magnificent point from Minas. They go again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, she crept in there, I think, suspecting a possible tip and nearly had her head taken off, Tysa. It was a brave move in defence. Uh, not too many would want to step in, but the space available and Boscovic puts the hand up to say sorry, but she's definitely not sorry to add one more to her tally. <laughs> what a shot. 11-9. A very nice matchup between two legends of the game. Swing, good defence by Handy Baladin. Too tight to the net, too low for Boscovic to swing. And that'll do. No, it won't for Minas. So Kissy misses again. This is this is their problem at the moment. They're not scoring on the right side of the court. They, it's an area they wanted to target early, but Kissy just trying to squeeze the little gap, but. As she moves to her right, the, the window gets smaller and smaller and she finds the antenna. Trying to come in with pace to take the cross court on through the Deutsch there, but just run out of, of room in the end. 
And this has to be the solution for her. She has to get on this ball fast, set just a little bit inside and not the greatest contact. But that's how she's going to be able to beat the block and hopefully take some of the scoring load away from Yonkara Pena. That's the problem for Minas at the moment. Not that they're not getting opportunities, they're just not converting. Now called. Liam, you will certainly relate to the body language we just saw there from the Minas coach, Nicola Negro. It's that final part of the jigsaw that's just missing at the moment. It's a... Uh... It's a tough game whenever you play a team with the quality of, of uh, Sasabasi, but you have to take the moments when they're there. Kisi not quite finding a way to score. The Roish really working hard, but with little reward. So, uh, as a coach, sometimes you're trying to find any solution to the problem. Sneaks over. Yakra, incidentally, has stayed in the front court for. Sebastian, she just tried to chase that ball down through the net. She's in the 14 top. It's come in for Irina Baronka, who was struggling on her pass. You see then from the service line. Solid pass, solid kill. Just acres of space for Jack Kisar to aim at. As, as the ball moves backwards, so the reception here, so step back, and the block has to make an extra move to try and counter the shorter distance to, in this case, Boscovic, the opposite, uh, and just being off balance in a critical moment. Must be played. Caragatas, so both she and Thais are still contributing really well in their middle blocking positions. And the Minas reception has given them some opportunities to, to use this play. The slide play out to the antenna on the right side. Good swing. Really good swing. That's a lovely contact from Laura Herman. seen more of her being used to attack the ball in front of the setter with uh, the longer quick and now this time going behind with uh, equal effect. Great sir. Cracking stuff from Maya Ogjanovic. She's never far away from the action, the 38-year-old Serbian setter. one of the things with a, a team of this quality they are relentless there's no let up you have to be good on every action and that's a good action from Peña good enough there from the Dominican Republic wing spiker let me just know where they are now they're on the recovery trail already well, that's incredible athleticism from Herman to somehow get a swing on that ball before Boscovich tapped it away. Yes, absolutely right. Incredible athleticism on both sides. The contortion from Herman and the readiness from Boscovich. Points like that let you know that the volleyball gods might just be smiling on you. Heavy hit again, well chased down. Oh, it's stunning, absolutely stunning volleyball. That's brilliant from Minas after some superb play from the Tigers. Yes, it doesn't always have to be beautiful textbook volleyball. Sometimes you'll take a point any way you can get it, and the the fight, the determination on both sides. But a great dig here on the line, and Tysa recognizing time to get over that ball over the net pretty quick. Wicked hit from Handel Baladin. Again, just exploiting the space that is there for her. And for all the 
effort on the previous point, how simple it can be to bring one back. Smarts from Tayser. Amazing stuff. That's why the middles think they can pass, because they get they get one per match and they put it on the setter's head for 100%. Well, it's definitely one of the things that is noticeable is the level of volleyball, volleyball goes up. How good at all the skills of the game all of these players are. Control from Minas. Priscilla Souza, incidentally, is into the action. That's a great reach. That's a great reach from Friedrich. Rebecca Kami enjoying that block. The sideline. Just having a little bit more time to get set and be a nice, neat, and organised block there. Again, superb tempo from Ogenovic, just popping that ball over the head of Jack Kisal for Handy to come in and exploit the seam again. The speed and location on this set is absolutely perfect. Just being at Handy, being able to step on it in rhythm. Oskovic goes to work once more. This time the net intervenes, but... Zasabashi with a very handy three-point cushion, which at this level is always gold dust. Yes, playing from behind in this situation. Really tough job uh, for Minas in front of them if they're to get this set, particularly when uh, there's an efficient offense on the receiving side. Tough pass, free ball off the Taser serve. That's a nice feed as well. And that'll do from Kissy, realizing the situation early and making the most of it. Yes, you've been trying power and now a little bit of subtlety, a little bit of craft, finding a way to get the ball on the floor. Well, just like they did in set one, Minas have time to come back pretty well here. So again, the, the refocus on the simple parts of the game. So talking about taking the ball high in attack, yeah, making making sure that they are using their advantage of physicality in a lot of the situations, and uh, knowing that they can work against the smaller block on the line and trying to attack the ball into the block and play out for a point. Just a refocus in the timeout. Two points to play with still, as I suppose you. The best pass from Hande Baladin, and the block was well set. And she's hammered this out and over the baseline. And we may go for a video check here to see if it touched the block on the way. Indeed they do. So you can see again Akbash there talking about the trajectory of the ball in, in attack and where the hitters can go to the ball and take it at its highest point and try and work the very top of the block, the weakest part of the block. It's a, it's a simple idea but hard to execute and hard, much harder to execute at speed with a, a good block on the other side of the net. Yeah, there's so many factors to bring in the game plan to fruition. Whatever you decide to do as a team, you're always going to have to come in with a plan B because your opponents are going to do something in the game and that one is mighty close and close enough Ooh, very close to Carol Gattas's index finger but it's just missed the tape here we go Minas back in this second set just like they were in the first better pass and it was Pretty much always going to Boscovich. Easy to say after the fact, but you could have a pretty good guess where that ball was going. And again, using Jack Casal on the on the slide play to create the space, 
can see Deroish not being able to come and close. Kisi have to be respectful of her attacker. Boscovich too high, too strong. And they serves back to the two-point lead. Trouble here for Minas. Kisi Nascimento goes for the hands again. The 22-year-old Brazilian international just hasn't had the best of times here at this championships, but we're going to have a look to see if she's actually touched the block with this one. She hasn't found any any easy points that help you feel in rhythm and be able to stay aggressive. That's the mental challenge for her as a hitter. She scored before on a, on a tip, but now it's the, the challenge for her to be able to play full and, and find a way to score like this one here. That'll do. That middle finger of the right hand of Jack Kissel. Well hit, well spotted, well challenged. And well played, you're off. Kissy takes the court. The back up opposite Larissa Brandau. There are several teenagers in this Minas squad, just 18 years of age. Which usually means that Jackie Moreno also heads out onto the floor, but she's not done just yet. They're playing with no setter on this rally. There we go. They had Cadiz in to try and have some influence on the block in the front line, but it's for nothing in the end, so substitutions will be flipped over. The double substitution often is a good idea in theory. The execution is, is the hard part. It's not something that gets practiced a lot. And you can see there, just with half chance, the quality of the first contact and defense not being able to result into a good attacking opportunity for Minas. First outing for Saliha Sahin. Spiker of uh, considerable prospect with this Zasabashi team. It's good work. Pidoroic goes again with the tip, it's well patrolled. And somehow, Zasabashi get it into play again. And at last, Pidoroic gets the job done. And Minas not going away in set two. It's this, this scrappy determined effort just to keep the ball alive and get another chance, get another chance. You can see Gata's running the slide there, draws the space, one-on-one -on -one attack, and Deroich makes the most of her opportunity. Great serve. It's another ace for Minas, and it's arrived at a vital time. Frida Deroich scores it for 21 all. Something they've done well all week. They've served well. Their best server, Julia Cadiz, is still on the bench. She has seven aces to her name. Out of the back row, Boscovic. Heavy hit. Well what defended. a deep. Oh, it's brilliant. Just brilliant. And again, absolute flyer from Naim. But unfortunately, one touch too many. Goodness me, they are trying their hearts out, Minas. Absolutely. Phenomenal defensive determination, the willingness to, to wear a ball, chase it out beyond the bench, almost ending up in the stands. Another touch. Just Boscovich again, once, once more too much, but such heart, such fight from Minas. Gutsy stuff from the Brazilians. And they continue to fight, 22 all. Carol Gattas puts another slide ball away. The connection there on that slide attack. Fantastic speed, location, and then a point for Minas. Reasonable pass, that allows Herman to fire again. And she's hit the ball tremendously hard on those reverse balls at the moment today. Once more, the ball not hitting the floor clean. Having enough defensive contact there. <laughs> Half a chance that one's going to drop in. Thought it might be, but no. 
Nice pass from Pudjaroic. And it's a net touch. A little frustrating as well because Boscovic has made a cracking pick up there. It's another point, Minas. Taser this time obliging. 23 points all then. So we're going to have a, a little video check here. I suspect, though, this is called by Ferhat Agbaj to take the sting out of the situation more than anything. Neither of the blockers were convinced they touched the net, but uh, we'll find out for sure. Not many blockers are convinced they touched the net in these close situations. Yeah, it's funny that, but with the cameras on you, no hiding places now. They're on the floor. He still waits to get some serious court time. The 19 year old middle blocker has been brilliant at this tournament so far, but she's behind two superb middle blocking technicians in Carol Gartas and Taysa de Menezes, who've been brilliant today. So, net fault or not? Oh, just clipped it, hand it at the bottom of the jump. That's the one that, as a blocker, you probably don't feel. So when she said she didn't, uh, felt like she touched the net, she was probably being honest. But the video begs the differ. It ends with the video check being lost. As well as the point, Minas level, Boscovic. Oh, she's been stopped. And at last, Jada Minas have found an answer. It's a situation where most people in the gym knew where that ball was going to go, but most importantly, the Minas block got on it early. They've, uh, Assassin Basi been struggling to score from position four a little bit. And under pressure, we know where the ball is going. Set point to the Brazilian side. And that's it, with another ace. Just brilliant from Minas. What a comeback and what a finish. 25-23 and this bronze medal final in unlikely circumstances is level at one set apiece. It's the combination of, of really good serving and great determined defense from Minas that gave them a chance to win and a chance that they took in that set, but still needing to find a consistent avenue to score points. That's going to make it hard for them in the start of this third set. Very good try from Yaprak. Put that ball back into play, but brilliant just brilliant from Minas and their serving has been quite superb in this game and it's certainly kept them in it but that block was very well timed by Boscovic and it was a result of some great defense just putting a few doubts in the opposite's mind and it's paid dividends in the end but well 28 minute set was a real scrap from the Tigers point of view Liam a three-point advantage for most of the back end of the set not converted Absolutely, and the play where we saw Yonkara chase that ball out past the bench and the lift that that gives you, that you're still in the game, there's still a chance, you've just got to keep fighting. And then one good decision on block against Boscovic where they executed well and all of a sudden the situation seems a lot more achievable. From a coaching perspective, Liam, how are you breaking the game down from here for your players? Are you seeing this as the bigger picture or are you trying to find smaller chunks for them to work with? Uh, it's all about finding actionable items. So you think about the basic ideas of how you want your team to play and how you can execute those better, but also the small adjustments you need to make against uh, the opposition. So it's, it's never about wholesale change. Uh, it's about making small adjustments looking at situations where you can maybe find a small advantage or how you can try and take away some advantage from the other team. So balancing your offense, uh, block positioning, how we're defending around the block, these are the things that you're most likely going to talk about. But for the Sasabasi, it might have to start with how they talk about their reception. Yeah, that's been the main problem. I mean, not to take anything away from Minas' serve, but it's been a real struggle for them today. Yes, we see Voronkova out of the game just because she wasn't giving them opportunity to use the ball after the first contact, but that gives them uh, a little bit of trouble now. They're a little bit weaker in the attack from position four, and the, the weight of responsibility on Boscovich 
And we saw at the end there, it just took one one block to get it right, and the door was open for minutes. So first two sets played with the teams at one end. We're going to flip now from side to side. We'll see who that change favours. Now, attack placement from Jadal Minas. What are you taking from this lead? Uh, you can see Yonkara Pena hitting from position four. Reception, we saw the middles not really attacking through the middle, working more on the right side. So that's where the split is. Uh, but with not a lot of points going from the opposites, uh, the ball, half the ball going to position four. And then it swings in the second set. Well, that's so. where the success came for Jadar Minas. They're going to try and deliver more of the same. Certainly the big names stepping up to the plate at the moment for the Brazilian side. Well, we love those graphics, just helps to bring the game to light. Leaves us with egg on our face occasionally in the commentary box because you've been calling one thing and the graphic shows something else. But on that occasion, pretty much going with what we've been seeing down there on the floor. So both teams now into this, Liam. They understand the demand ahead and I guess they can feel they can go to work. Yeah, it's almost like a boxing match. Both both teams have thrown some punches and you settle into, into a bit of rhythm how the game's going to be played. The challenge now for Minas is can they maintain that level of determination and energy against uh, what can be a, a tidal wave of offensive pressure from the Sasha Bassi. Lovely to see the two middles out there on the floor. 35-year-old Pacer jumping around the joy. She's played brilliantly. And Carol Gattas, 41 years of age, has been very steady. And it's wonderful to see world-class players that still burn with an intensity to play this sport at this level after so many years. And you think about the number of hours they've trained, the number of warm-ups they've done, Liam, the number of hours they've spent on a plane, and they're still going. Absolutely, there. You don't stay playing the game for this long if it doesn't absolutely burn inside his passion to, to win and, and succeed and be part of a team. And you can see Tyson in particular, she's so excited when her team has success and she's happy for her teammates. And particularly in those close moments, you want to work a little bit harder for her. Away we go then with set three in this dramatic game. No surprise to see Irina Voronkova back on court. What is Asabash? She, she holds the key alongside Handy Baladin on that left side just to try and take a bit of pressure off of Boscovic. But their pass needs to improve. If they can get the ball into Ogenovic, we'll see them at their very best. Minas hoping to restrict those opportunities. Brazilian side then Minas in the white tops with a wonderful comeback in set two from three points down to win the set 25-23 and level this bronze medal final and now we're into the battle we thought we were probably going to get here. excellent swing there from Peña taking the top of the outside hand from Boscovic and if you want to be aggressive on serve there is the, the risk that you're going to make some errors so maintaining that aggression and precision on serve from Minas will be a key for them to staying alive in this game. Lovely pass under pressure from Yonkara. This is brilliant. Both teams are keyed right into the opposition offence now. And the blockers starting to read things pretty well. shot once more the case or the, the situation is how long can Yonkata Benya do this for if they keep putting this much pressure on it absolutely and in defense you can see Veronka never really settled on a position she's uh, still moving at the co hitter's contact and as a result couldn't make that dynamic move to chase down the ball better leave to four those today and they've been in but Cindy Akos gets it right this time the lead rope for the Tigers just 
wide from Taser. And these are the margins that uh, are working in the game. One serve just out, one attack just out, and then all of a sudden you're in a three-point deficit. This time, though, it's Isar Sabashi that the offerings from the service line. As you would expect for a game at this level with players at this level you're going to get some fluctuation in the form out there very tough to get into that zone and stay there when you've got quality players on the other side of the net to force you out of the zone beautifully done from Ogjanovic to Jack Kisa. and not a bad swing from Boscovic onto the baseline So beautiful clean contact, just dropping in, another 100 km an hour serve. And that rhythm, that momentum that Minash had in the second set, all of a sudden, four points down, needing to start again. So the message there being, we're probably not going to score too many points in the middle of the court, so we're going to have to work on the top of the block and play strong off the top of the block. To take that risk is going to be crucial to uh, open up the scoring opportunities for Minas. First job though, past the Boscovich serve. Oh dear, it's another thunderbolt. Oh, it's a brilliant piece of recovery from Jonkera Pena. And then Maya Ogjanovic spoils the party. Good awareness in transition. Another great scramble from Minas to keep the ball alive after a tough serve. But just the awareness from Ignatovic. They defended. And the best connection to Jack Kissar. So we get another swing through Kissy, but Veronkova chases that down easily. Now the high ball to Boscovic. Well defended by Pri Heldes. Kuga Roich gets a good swing on it. And again, Maya Ogjanovic with superb court awareness. That was a super, super aggressive set in transition for Minas. Watch this ball here. That's fast from off the net, back over the shoulders, and a fantastic dig. Again, as you mentioned, Ogjanovic equal to the task and knowing what's happening on the court at all times. A phenomenal pick up from Libro, Sindriakos. Again, Mayen under pressure from Boscovic. Is it in? No, it's out, but it's via the block and Prydorovic will take that. And that's a saving grace because they needed to see Boscovic's serve off, but the damage has been done. Yes, Nicola Negro would be happy there, Deroyes listening to what he was talking about before in the break, working the top of the hands, but 9-4 down is not a comfortable position to be in. Four minutes, aces required. Very good pass from Voronkova, just allows that release to Jack Kisal, who plants the ball deep in the court. Losing the second set has stung the Tigers into action. Ogjanovic pops another ball on the floor. And there's Asabashi away and clear at the moment in this set. It certainly must feel like that sometimes. You're giving everything, you're fighting hard, and the other team just seems to keep having answers. Footwork from Karol Gattas to get into position to hit. Even better footwork from Boscovic to accelerate onto that ball. 
So that right there is a 194 centimeter answer to, to the questions that Minas are asking. Really nice control there, finding the space between the block and the sideline. Good touch. Brilliant pick up from Handek. Right out of system now, Minas. Another great dig this time from Simjic. Brilliant defensive work by both teams. Stunning stuff. And in the end, it's a carry called against Azar Sebastian. Crowd's consternation. I'm really enjoying how aggressive that Minas wants to be in transition. They're setting the ball fast, they're trying to stay aggressive and keep and keep the Azar Basi block under pressure. That's the risk we're taking, the risk they're going to have to take. And it paid off in the second set, but they're in a big hole now, 12-5 down. They're going to use the double substitution flip, I think, to try and get themselves out of jail here. So on comes Jackie Moreno. In fact, it's going to be Luisa Vicente de Silva on instead. Of the younger opposite, Luisa Brandao. A youngster in Luisa Vicente, but generally speaking, a left side player. But so much she might be able to do a job on the other side of the net. She'll hit this one left side, though. Side in on defence from Jack Kissal, and a great swing off the block from Laura Herman. She knew exactly what she was doing with that ball, and they made that look amazingly easy. This is a very difficult set. Running forward, ball tight to the net, and to still go fast with precision, the long distance on the court, and Hemon just terminates. The Herminator puts it away. Timeout call then for Minas, but we're running out of options here already in set three. There's always the risk when uh, you're the underdog and you're going to set that the uh, Expected favourite will wake up, and uh, we've seen the response now, particularly from Boscovich at the service line. But also the defensive intensity from uh, a Basi has, has increased, creating more transition opportunities. And and I wouldn't. Sorry. Yeah, and I was just saying, and that's key, isn't it? Oh, but not everybody's completely engaged. Um, that's key though, isn't it? When, you, when you're looking to put your roster together for a season, you're looking for players that can deliver in the primary part of their game. But isn't it wonderful to see some really tall, big-name attackers out there also committing to the floor in defence? And that's a vital part of what you can offer your team. Absolutely. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's, it's not just the, the power or, or necessarily the height, but that the best players at the top levels are really good volleyball players can perform all the skills pretty well. Balloons out of play. Deutsch. Total volleyball. Out there on the floor for these pros. Kaira waits to receive. She knew she was going to get the serve. And passes it nicely. Well put away by Kalagatas. service line now and again Laura Herman just fires it off the top of the block I've been really impressed with her at these championships the Belgian international yeah her, her body control and specifically her hand control there in this situation it's a, a difficult set and she pushes right to the limits of what's capable there she's at her full extension but in turn that extends the block probably past their comfort zone of a back on court having been removed in the second set with passing issues but she's played well in the third heavy serve overpassed easily put away by Herman just waited her time
nothing going right for the Brazilian side now. They're getting an absolute thumping in this third set. Oh, dear me, and it's just got worse. Young Cada Pena beaten on the serve. I think she might be about to leave the court for Priscilla Sousa. Certainly goes to, to highlight how important it is to continue the momentum after a great second set from Minash. That uh, all of a sudden they must feel like the air's been let out of the balloon. Uh, everything's coming at them strong and fast, and, and they're not finding ways to fight back. Got a lot of new players out on the floor right now. Two new starters set uh, in front court. Priscilla alongside the other side of things, Luisa Vicente. And it's the experience of Taysa that gets the job done again on Boscovich and uh, isn't it? it's a great block not a great player but nowhere near as exciting this time around because they're still 10 points down you can see it the players face the celebration almost zero from Minas pass going a little too far but Maya Oljenovic convincing the ref she was setting that ball Block her out. Tyson there getting a, a little bit enthusiastic, a little bit over enthusiastic. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, quite a big net touch. Yeah, easy, easy decision. Yeah. It's given away, really. Decent swing from Kisinashimento, but unfortunately that's not the problem that Minas have to solve right now. They've got to find a way of scoring points on their own serve. Interestingly again, Voronkova there, not really settling on a defensive position against the high ball attack. Uh, a little bit better than last time, but needing to to make a choice early and put herself in position to react to the play that's happening. Everything's going right at the moment for Zatsubashu with a paintbrush shot from Jack Kisal off a rangy middle set. And like with him on this is uh, just stretching the limits of, of both the attackers and the block and the advantage falling on the attack side. get any easier because Boscovich is round to the line next for Minas off the hook this time. Well, we're into the fourth set waiting room now because this set is done. It's just a case of getting it across the line now for Zasabashi. And that is not a bold claim. It's just the facts that are in front of us. Tigers have control at the moment. Lovely swing from Ander Baladin. That takes her back to the line. 11 points to the advantage for Zasabashi. Well, Ogienovic is just starting to expand this offence now beyond anything Minas can do. This is another really difficult set. The connection between her and the middles is uh, fantastic. Uh, really finding the edges of the block and, and stretching the limits. Great positioning from Boscovich. We're going to get a reuse out of this. Good on, Kibet. Dumps it on the most ridiculous of angles inside the three-meter line by a long way. This is uh, what was missing in the second set when she was off the court. Just another player with solutions in attack. But to Minas' credit, they're starting to play a little bit more volleyball now. The first half of this set, they barely touch the ball. Maybe they get a little bit of rhythm, a little bit of momentum coming into the fourth. Again, the frustration of a net touch by the blocker. 
and set points arrive, 14 of them. Sabashi have crushed Minas in this third set. As many of the commentators have said, it's a funny old game. Ryan just about hooks it back into play. Well defended by Sindic. And Volonkova does the rest. 25-10. And the response from his Asabashi to losing that second set is prompt and fierce. And they lead the bronze medal final over Minas by two sets to one. The, the danger of Minas from winning that second set is it would uh, have woken his Asabashi up. And uh, that's definitely what's happened. The reintroduction of Aronkova gives them another option to score. The service pressure dropped off from you know, a few errors early and all of a sudden they had to back off a little bit, which is one of their strengths early. And their ability to create transition opportunities and keep the game playing. They just couldn't play enough volleyball. The longer the rallies go, I think Minos has a better chance, but they couldn't make those first contacts count. Tigers fans are bouncing here in the Antalya Sports Hall. And it's only the second match of the tournament that has gone to a fourth set. We haven't had a five-setter yet. It's not beyond the realms, certainly. Forget that last set, 25-10. Minas will certainly do that, and they've got enough experienced players on the floor, Liam, to know that volleyball does evolve in rather strange ways on the scoreboard. They can still come back in this match. They certainly can, the, particularly in the middle and with the, the outsides, they have enough experience. Can they get enough scoring from the right side is the challenge for them. PC hasn't been doing the job so far. Can they get her a meaningful contribution from her in this next set? And can they maintain their service pressure? A quick word from you about the, the veteran players that are out on the floor. I mean, 41 years of age, it's starting to push towards the edge of the envelope in terms of a, a professional career. How do coaches view the, the older players in the game and in terms of signing somebody for a season? It really depends uh, on your roster balance. Do you have uh, a rotation? They, they're going to need some time off. They're going to need uh, a little bit less of workload, particularly at practice. So do you have the, the other bodies on the roster that allows you to, to function as a group uh, when they need the, that time to rest and recover? But it's, uh, it's about balance and, and you know that you're going to get that experience, that uh, lack of fear in those big situations. Uh, so it's a question of can you get them enough rest to get their best performance on the court in the games? But without losing too much on the practice court. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, Liam, thank you for that. Boscovic then leads on 25 points for the match so far. 21 attacks, two blocks and two ace serves. Carol Gattas, 41 years of age, one of those veteran players I was talking about with 10 points at the moment, alongside Jonkera on 10. Those are the only three players that are so far into double figures. There's not much of a, a sharing of the workload from Azazabashi. That comes down to the fact they've had a couple of sets where they've not passed particularly well. But that wasn't the case in the last set, where the distribution for Modjanovic was pretty terrifying, as is 104 kilometres per hour. I compared getting hit in the head by a volleyball the other day to getting punched by a boxing glove at that speed. But someone pointed out they've never been punched by a boxing glove either, so it didn't really help. It's, a, it's an incredibly strong serve and when you take someone who's 194 centimetres and bring the net down a little bit from the men's height, that ball is genuinely terrifying. So the first serve travels into play for set four. What a shot. That's going to be up there on the speed gun from Tiana Boscovic. She's found her range now and the team that leads by two sets to one now lead in the fourth. Brilliant hand control. The, the gap on the line there is small. The angle is the left-handed, that's difficult. That's why she's one of the best. Net touch. Blockers just getting a little eager. And that deprives Zatsubashi of a defensive play. And it's a case 
of here we go again with these two teams. Minas in the white. Brazilian club will be trying to just stay with Azasabasha. They need to take this set deep and then see what they can do. And that'll do nicely. Young Pena into her work early. If she continues to keep ticking away, working strong and high, just as her coach asked of all of them before in the, in the last set, working the top of the block. Can they get the reception? Can they get the right side attack going to give her a little bit of help? Well, nicely done. Just to actually have enough experience out on the floor to understand that they have to be steady too and just ride whatever Minas throw at them. The start of the third. point in this set when things become worrying for the Tigers if they start to make a few errors again and one of their problems in this match has been serve reception from some excellent serving from Williams. Good control. Nice pass into Ogenovic and that's just easy pickings for Boscovic. quality of that contact in defense getting a, a second or in this case third opportunity and the ability for Njenovic to deliver that ball nice blocking that's a good touch that's brilliant from Herman and then out of the back line, Veronkova just about tickles it over the net. And Kissy finally puts it away. And we're seeing what we saw from Minas in their comeback in set two. They're starting to scrap again. Absolutely. The, the longer the rallies go, the more even the playing field is. But whenever you have a good swing to attack, another time working the top of the block. Worrying. It's the last thing that Minas need. But it happens. Part and parcel of the game where you're jumping high at the net. And all sorts of bodies moving around. As as you meant to do, just an ankle. It's a great sportsmanship as well. They can see genuine care for the, their opponent and respect. This is a great part of the game. Yeah, that's been very noticeable this week at these championships, how much the players have enjoyed playing it, but also how much camaraderie there's been on the floor. Oh, wow, not much camaraderie there. <laughs> have this Thunderbolt. And again, just, just shy of the 100 for an hour mark, but brilliantly placed in the scene. Almost, almost making it look easy the scene between scary and terrifying nice hit well back from Frida Reutsch and that's what Minas have got to do in this set just keep seeing Boscovich off from those key areas if they can keep her going round in the rotation I make it sound so easy for the commentary booth don't I it's anything but it's tough down there on the floor with players that just know exactly what they're doing out there and understand where the scoring opportunities are occurring. So Hande goes to the back line. We've got Jernovic in the front court and Voronkova each side of Jack Kisal. So a couple of rotations here when Minas will be trying to put some points on the board. And that won't help. It's the right choice there from Minas, trying to set the ball over the setter, 
Uh, but the execution on, on the set, the location's a little bit off the net, the timing's not quite right, ball's inside, not being able to take advantage. It's the balance of speed and precision there that needs to be uh, corrected. Well tidied up, but there's an awful lot going through the left side at the moment from Minas. Oh, that's a great save from Kissy. Fortunately, she's okay. That's just another thumping blow from Boscovic. And it's not the easiest thing to see, but the speed of that ball, that's a really fast ball in transition. And it's very hard for the block and defense from Minas to adjust in time. And Boscovic hit the last couple of balls on the line. Now the space opens up in the middle. Wonderful hand control. Momentum swing picked up immediately by Nicola Negro. He's not happy with the timeout. His team have lost a bit of ground here. Yeah, important point you make there, Liam, with those faster sets and the contact point. If you think about it as a, as a middle player, you're going to have to move, what, three metres in a fraction of a second and then touch three metres off the floor. Uh, the chance to even get close to penetrating the net from there is well, virtually zero. It's, a, it's a, one of the difficult parts of the game, but where the, the ability of the experienced players to read and see the situation as early as possible uh, is incredibly valuable. Lovely shot. Where's that been all tournament? Christina Cimento flows so nicely onto the ball. And that one caps and sent deep in the court. And great tempo and really nice fastball. Her ability to, to hit that ball in rhythm. She struggled a bit on the out-of-system balls, the balls where it's a high high ball or not quite being able to find that tempo. Maybe that's the key for her in attack. Good hit. Nice slide around the back from Jack Kissel. The one time you'll see players coming off one foot on that slide. In general, it's two quad muscles are better than one. But on the slide, it works pretty well. The only player I've seen do it in front of the centre is Washington. Amy Washington's got the most... Awkward, awkward little slide play in front of the setter. It's brilliant. Yeah, good block. Good block. Laura Herman is imposing herself on this game now. As you see, as the setter's running forward at that speed, there's very little chance for the ball to be going backwards, so it's easy for the middle to make the choice to follow, get in front, and it's a short move on the block to get over. long and it hasn't touched the block well, according to his us of us here anyway and I'm afraid from a neutral point of view the wheels are coming off the Minas performance again and it looks like we're going to be deprived of a fifth and final set just getting better and better for the hosts Challenge for Minas to play at their best level for as long as possible, particularly after a longer tournament like this. They've had to travel a long way, play a lot of games, and now we can see just how tough it is to stay at that top level for the whole time. Good enough. 41-year-old middle blocker, Carl Gattas, who just doesn't seem to have an off switch. Trying a few circus tricks now. It's left them stranded here. <laughs> oh, the messiest play you'll see for a while. But still the Tigers are in the point. Oh, that's just genius. Here we go. It's showboating time. 
the degree of difficulty on all of that point was incredibly high, but the finish was phenomenal. That set is absolutely outstanding. And Hermon being ready to step on that ball, but that set from Onyenovic was phenomenal. Well played. Very well played. Well, nice comeback from Yankaya Pena, but it feels like it's too little too late already and we've still got a long way to go to 25 points but it's not in control here uh, Minas haven't found the same uh, pressure that they have on Sir the same success maybe had to back off a little bit after the second set but maybe that won't help maybe an ace or two gets the game close and there's a chance for some uh, some nerves at the end from Natasha Basin did it in the second set, Minas. They came back from three points down. The aces that Sketcher mentioned just then have rather dried up in the last set and a half for the Brazilian side. Veronica, she served well in this set. It's another heavy hit. Pulverich can't control it. And Herman, again, with vision and presence of mind, not to just hammer this, but place it. And the technique there from Onyenovic. So uh, just popping the ball in front. And again, finding the seam, finding the way that the blockers can't jump straight and go straight over the net. That is the millimeters that make the difference. throw of the dice on timeouts anyway for Nicola Negro well, looks like it's going to be the last set less Minas can find a bit of inspiration from somewhere Rankova to resume serving a few problems to her timing. No. That's a brilliant bit. That's just phenomenal. And that's why Kissy Nascimento has managed to make her way into the senior squad at 22 years of age for Brazil. It's just at this tournament she hasn't found that kind of form regularly. Yeah, she definitely seems like the hitter that needs to be in rhythm to be effective. He's not a high ball hitter. Good serve. Minas trying to scrap it out still. It's a lovely contact sound. I mean, in a stadium where the crowd is very noisy, you don't always hear the marvellous contacts on the ball, but that one, you can hear that. That went off like a whip crack around this stadium. Yeah, lovely clean swing and contact and a great overload play there as the ball gets shifted forward. The Minas block having to cover two blockers in short distance and a short time. On, steps straight off for the Libro. We're good to go again. We're proud of being to set. Good lead from Vienovic. And a nice swing from Priya Roich down the line, but she's just taken it a little too far. It's the temptation there when you see the big space is to try and hammer it right in the really small area. Mistakes in a row, and that's it. As Azubashi are away and clear in this bronze medal final. A 
and it has been the story of the game. Minas generating opportunities with defense and not being able to convert, just not finding that last final touch against such a, a high quality opposition, a big block. And this will be the, the challenge as a timeout. Yeah, well used by Nicola Negro. The Inspector Gadget theme music in the background tells us it's for a block touch. That's the request. And it's produced a, a decent delay, which Negro will be more than happy with. to look at. Trey, go go gadget arms wouldn't have got near that one. And no respite because uh <laughs> Boskovich on the service line. And pass by name. It's a swing from Kissy. But it comes back as a free ball and that was a very late call from Sinjet. He's hit it out. Here is now starting to flow, and this is frustrating from Minas's point of view. It's the same error on the other side uh, of the court. Just seeing that there's some space on the line and going for too much. We saw Negro talking about uh, needing to work the top part of the block, even in those situations on the sideline. There's uh, a ball there that you can play and find the block and still have the advantage to score. Boscovich lets them off the hook. He lets go to the service line again. But running out of time, running out of points. Pace. Good pass from Handel. Fired on the reverse to Boscovich. That ball's travelling a long way, but it's travelling very fast. And it's drawn Boscovich actually into a footfall here. She stepped on the attack line by the looks of it. Yeah, the ball. Maybe a little bit inside, she's having to come a bit further into the court than she'd like to play, which probably draws that last little long step onto the line. I thought, I'm pretty sure that's what the referee had signalled, but there we go. Moving on is testing. Well, to do for Minas, but we need points on their own serve now, but we need to score them quickly. in the tail and it has been a really competitive bronze medal final maybe just maybe just the precision lacking there again not being able to get the ball close enough to the net and Jack Casal has to reach back and sends that one into the tape. So the Tigers now just counting off the points and stepping their way towards the podium. Bumps and blow from Vodonkova. Changes a foot, Jackie Sal vacates the court. Middle player off, this will be for a player that will come in and serve and play defence. I suspect that's Salim, yes it is. It's a good serve as well. Yeah, nicely recovered. Coming in off the wing, new player on court. 18-year-old Luisa Vicente de Silva with the kill. And a good adjustment to the long ball serve. She takes the, the big step in and gets onto the ball at her highest point before the block can get ready. That's a really nice adjustment for, to see from a young player. Rita Roich served well in the game again. A little bit of pressure on this is Asabashi team. And they've had a lot of momentum in this set, but they're just starting to lose some rhythm here. Minas sensing there's an opportunity. It's done a 
not wrong today, Herman. But gets blocked on that occasion. Just when the chance was there for Minas to apply pressure, the pressure valve is released. Spike hit really hard by uh, Luisa Vicente. Left by Zas Sebastian. I'm sure it's going to go for a challenge here, Minas. Because well, they've been given the decision. Yeah, the second referee calling the net touch there. Thank you, Liam. Well spotted. This is the last point at which uh, is our Sebastian need Veronkova to start suffering the yips here. And Minas are going to go after it from the line, I think. They're going to put some pressure on the Russian right now. And having used two service substitutions already, they're really only left with one, one change. So it would have to be a, a tactical move just for the reception. They need to put this away, Minas. And they do. Killed brilliantly by Jonker Pena. And uh, the crowd here in the Antalya Sports Hall have gone a little bit quiet and a little bit nervous. Well, we had an exciting finish to yesterday's second semi-final when Zas Sebastian came back in the dying points of set three. Remember, the third between each other. OK, communication, let's rotate to it. A good chance to remind the players about the scoreboard. It's still a good lead, and it's just a, a requirement for some side outs. And once they have those rolling again, this will be Zasubash's match. So, Baronkova there talking about she's really only going to take the ball if it's right on her, otherwise, she's going to be uh, out of this reception rotation. She's a target at the moment for Minas, they're just going to try and tuck her away now. And over the line, the timeout does its job very nicely. And uh, is Asabashi showing a different serve reception picture to Carol Gattaz? And it's enough to force the error. It's the, the challenge there of when the target get becomes a much more difficult serve, do you just go your best serve the other way? Good hit. Well passed by Yonkaila. He can't get it out of the block. Jackie continues to play. And it's another net touch. And as Asabashi having flown through most of this set, are now limping their way to the finish line. Pretty strong contact on the net too for the second official to pick up. Double substitution is flipped back then for Minas. They've got their strongest lineup back on the floor. Another problem pass for Voronkova. Boscovic can't put it away. Naim goes wide. Nice tip from Jonkera. Well defended by Simjic. Oh, it's good. Really good. And it's exactly what the Tigers needed from Boscovic. Yeah, it's a pretty messy situation there. Not a really great clean contact, but the quality of Boston is shining. See the ball just floating out towards the sideline and her hand control to still find the middle of the court from a difficult situation and catch Minas in a state of transition. Four Brings match up match points. points. Yeah, they arrive at last. Goodness me, it's been a struggle over the last few minutes. Good serve. Great block. Minas go again, Yonkera Pena to stay in the game. She can't make it. Kissy can though. And it's three match points remaining for the Zasubashi. So the pressure now back on the Shashabasi reception. Can Voronkova hold her spot? Last throw of the dice, and it's 18-year-old Larissa Brandau that has been brought on by Minas 
and sent to the service line. Pressure on for the teenager. Ball is in, good pass, this for Bronze. And Boscovic plants it on the floor. As Asibashu make their way to the podium here in Antalya with a three sets to one victory over Minas. And once again, the fabulous Tiana Boscovic shines. There's some great fight from Minas at points in the in today's game, but the quality, the level from Isasha Basi, just too high, and particular, as you said, from Boscovic. But overall, great performance and deserving winners of the bronze medal. in defence show that they can hang with one of the best teams in the world uh, and if they can find the solution on the right side I think the balance in scoring will really open up the game for them uh, so it's it quite the result that they were after here at their host tournament just came up short in that semi-final against at Baku Bank yesterday in three straight sets but they bounced back nicely in tricky circumstances in front of the delirious and adoring Tigers fans here in Antalya. The full marks to the Turkish Volleyball Federation, they've put on a terrific show here. The attendances, the crowds have been wonderful. And they've got what they came for in terms of the first part of today's whole volleyball jigsaw. The second part will be put into place very shortly when our two finalists, Bucky Bank their opponents from Italy, Corneliano, step out onto court. There's our final tail of the tape. And the result that Zasabashi were looking for in the end, doing enough. And when they were good, Liam Sketcher, they were very good. Absolutely. The the level that they can play at was clearly the, the gap. Minas could match them for parts of the game, but the consistency of, of being able to play their best volleyball for longer was the difference between the two sides uh, but we definitely do have another exciting game coming up very shortly uh, hopefully both teams can hang at, at their best level for a very long time because we have the potential for maybe an all-timer well, my thanks to our volleyball world expert analyst Liam Sketcher for his comments on our bronze medal final Liam will be back in around about an hour's time or just under an hour's time for the start of our gold medal final but now we head into our bronze medal presentation so the presentation of the medals will be here from the MC by Bahamer former Turkey national team member and Turkish Volleyball Federation board member and also, Mr. Renato Arena, FIVB Executive Vice President, our VIPs to present the bronze medals to a thoroughly deserving Zasubashi Tigers team. And there we go, wonderful medals wonderful team not quite the color that they were looking for this time around but a very good performance nonetheless as a Sabashi returning to the competition two-time winners in 2016 and 2015 when they got back-to-back -back titles back on the podium again Maya Oyenovic with a super performance of 32 quite magnificent points from their superstar captain Tiana Buskic Congratulations to our bronze medalists here in Antalya. Zasubashi Dinovis, Istanbul. In front of the adoring Tigers fans.
terrific match, terrific performance, and congratulations to our bronze medalists from Eza Subashi. The celebrations now can get underway as we prepare for what should be one of the showdowns of the season in the women's gold medal final. So one place on the podium has been decided. And the destination of our next two medals will be decided in around an hour's time. Stay with us here on Volleyball TV for the gold medal final between Vaki Bank of Turkey and Corneliano of Italy in a rematch from last year's final. We'll take a very short break. For me, Simon Golding and my co-commentator, Liam Sketcher, will say cheerio for now. But please join us again very shortly for what should be a cracking final here in Atalya. to come. 